Nuk në nësëmë lëkomë në lëkomë në programi Horita Flusek. Ilumë se një vdeu sa bëshë në diskutu i rezultati financiari ta kompania kua ta ta fuq il borza ta Malta Go PLC. Leo il misi dentana u al kap ezekutif ta al kompania Mr. Nikil Patil. Mr. Patil, welcome to Flusek. Good evening, Nicolette. Nice to be here. Thank you for joining us, for being with us today. Um, as I was informing the viewers, basically, um, uh, we're going to just be discussing the financial results of Go PLC for the year 2022. Um, in fact, only last week, um, the company had the annual general meeting for its shareholders. Um, despite all the challenges, um, 2022 was a good year for the company. In fact, before discussing the financial results, could you please share with us maybe the main challenges that the company had to face? Absolutely. I think if I have to summarize our challenges for 2022, I think the one word would be inflation. Uh, if you look at the global events uh, in 2022, war in Ukraine, shortage of labor, high energy prices, all these means there were the, the input costs in our products were quite high leading to inflation. And at, at Go, our principle is to not increase prices unless we can give more value to our customers, which means we had to run the operation and deliver growth and results and profits while keeping the cost down. And that was our key challenge for 2022. As with regards to revenue in 2022, it increased by nearly 11% compared to 2021, reaching 214 million euros. How was this achieved? So we, uh, our revenue growth came from three sources. One was we welcomed new customers to our network. We generated revenues from selling new products and services to our existing customers, and we delivered revenue growth by increasing the number of products we sold to our customers. In Malta, in 2022, we have been the fastest growing broadband operator. Our investments in fiber to the home, our investments in television content has been paying off with increasing our subscriber base. Today, we are the only company in Malta that roughly covers 70% of the island with fiber to the home. This has also resulted in many of our customers migrating to higher bandwidth products, which resulted in further revenue growth from our existing customers. Uh, in Cyprus, 2022 marked a record year in terms of subscriber growth. As we speak, the customer base grew by 40%, and we have over 180,000 loyal customers in Cyprus. We were the fastest growing mobile operator in 2022 to get to leave you with one thing in, in the beginning of 2022 we had around 22,000 customers by the end of 2022 we had roughly 93,000 customers uh, this made cable one of the fastest growing mobile operators in cyprus so um, the increase in revenue resulted in higher profits reaching 12.6 million euros what factors contributed to this increase as I said before, 2022 brought in significant cost inflation for us and companies worldwide. We were managed to we, we managed to mitigate this cost impact by basically focusing on three things. One was digitization. Digitization allowed us to reduce our costs. Today, around 75% of our customers interact with Go using digital channels. Secondly, was essentially investing in renewables and investing in reuse. That means we were able to reuse the material and the investments we have made in the past, which means we had to buy less of raw materials. And lastly, but not least, is since COVID, we have truly become a global company. As you know, Go works in a hybrid working model, which means most employees work at the most two days from their offices. Today, we have employees based in Malta, Cyprus, Spain, India, Philippines. And because we work hybridly in Malta, our leadership is trained to manage workforce across remote locations. And that has helped us to keep our wage costs down, which has that, that meant that the revenue growth that we have seen has passed, has resulted in profit growth for 2022. 
In fact, during your address to shareholders, you mentioned GO's five areas of focus. Um, could you maybe um, elaborate on each of these areas and in particular about the measures that GO is taking to improve and protect the environment? Absolutely. And today, uh, GO is one of the largest provider of digital infrastructure services on the island. Means there are a lot of uh, services that the community depends on not just telecommunications and mobile, but also healthcare, education, air traffic services. And many more of these services depend on our infrastructure. At Go, we say our purpose is to drive a digital Malta where no one is left behind, which means we focus on five strategic pillars. First is to drive a digital Malta. We are one of the largest private investors in digital infrastructure in Malta. Every year, we roughly spend 30 to 40 million euros investing in digital infrastructure. 2022 was a record year for us in terms of our true fiber rollout. We passed fiber to around 50,000 homes. As we speak, more than 70% of the homes in Malta have access to a true fiber network. By 2025, Malta will be one of the few, if not the only country in the EU, where 90% plus homes will have fiber connectivity. We have also invested over 25 million in the only submarine cable in Malta that connects us to France. All of our data passes, used to pass through Italy. Thanks to this cable now, we have diversity in our connectivity to mainland Europe. Second is we focus on becoming a digital enterprise. If we have to drive a digital Malta successfully, digitization needs to start at home. We have in invested heavily in our systems internally as we continue our journey to digitize the business. What this has meant that five years ago, less than 2% of our customers interacted with us digitally. Today, over 70 to 75% of our customer interactions are over digital channels. Investing in digital experience enables us to deliver our best customer experience. This brings me to our third area of focus. At Go, we say our core value or our first value is obsessing over our customers. Every working moment, we focus on delivering the best possible experience coupled with innovative products and services. Today, we serve over half a million customer connections daily. A great example of obsessing of our, over our customers and delivering what they want is our investment in Maltese content. We are one of the largest investors in Maltese original content. This has been hugely successful and well received by our customers. Our fourth area of focus is environmental sustainability. In order to live our purpose well, we have to have environmental sustainability at the core of our business. Our goal is to make Go green by reducing our emissions by 25% by 2025, replacing 25% of our energy sources by renewable energy by 2025. We aim to be carbon neutral by 2045. Mm. To this end, we have committed investing over 20 million euros in our new net zero campus in Zaytun where all the electricity for the offices will be provided by renewable resources. We also plan to completely electrify our fleet by 2026. Okay. But I think that's just the start. At Go, we want to go beyond making Go green. We want to help our clients in achieving their own sustainability goals. So the, there are many investments we are making in companies which will enable us to provide products and services which will help our clients become sustainable and helps ultimately make Malta environmentally sustainable. We have, for example, we have invested in a company called Sense. Sense is an energy management company that leverages IoT technology to reduce energy consumption. Today, Sense serves some of the top five-star hotels in Malta, UK, Mauritius, and Dubai to reduce its energy consumption. And we expect to see future growth in this. Last but not least is our effort to make Go a great place to work and grow. While we might seem like a technology company, we are a people first company. We work really hard in developing the right culture at Go that enables people to grow personally and professionally while striking a work-life balance. 
Go has been exemplary in setting standards when it comes to employee well-being. We have recently introduced, for example, a four-week paid leave policy for employees experiencing pregnancy loss, as well as a four-week paid leave for non-birthing parents. And these are among the few initiatives we have launched throughout the ever year in favor of our people. Very interesting. Um, undoubtedly, shareholders always inquire about GO's dividend policy. What is the board's position um, regarding future dividend payments? Absolutely. Uh, I think uh, in the last five years, GO has returned over 114 million in dividends to its shareholders. In the last 10 years, GO has returned over 200 million dividends to its shareholders, including the spin-off of Malta property companies. Now, our market capitalization, if I remember correctly, is around 300 million. There are very few companies who have returned two thirds of its market value in dividends in 10 years. And we have done this while ensuring that Malta has state of the art digital infrastructure, whether it's fiber to the home, whether it's a cable connecting us to mainland Europe, whether it's the fastest 5G network on the island, we continue to invest. The point I'm trying to make here is that we try to balance long-term sustainability with immediate dividend needs of our shareholders. We don't have a set policy per se, but our informal policy is to provide a healthy level of dividends while investing to ensure that the long-term sustainability of our business is protected. Thank you, Mr. Fatil, for being with us once again.